Okay, fifth grade, lesson 94. This is on using estimation when you're dividing by two-digit numbers, okay? Now, I want to teach you um, a trick that we talked about yesterday, or um, a few, gosh, it's been several, several weeks ago, okay? I'm going to show you this division problem, okay? okay. Now, um, remember how I told you that you could use a trick to answer this and go take the first number and the first number? Yeah. And it would kind of give you a, a good thing to try to figure out which one it's going to be. Mm -hmm. What number would you use if we were to choose this number? If we were to go, what's one times what equals five? One. I mean five. Very good. Five. Okay. Now, but we're not just doing one and five. We're doing 19 and 59. Yes. So where am I going to put my five? You put it on the nine. Above the nine. Very good. Okay. So watch what happens here, Eli. 19 times 5, right? That's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 9 times 5 is 45. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 4 more is 9. Okay, what do you see? I went way over. Okay, that's still a good trick, but I want to show you an even better trick when you're doing something like this. Okay? Okay. And it's called estimation. Okay? What is 19 rounded to, close, closer to? So, like, are we seeing how much 19 would fit into 59? Yes. Okay. okay, but what we're doing first is we're going to pretend for just a minute. Let's round this to, what would you say we were down to? Two. Well, no, 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 the whole thing. 19 would become? What do you mean? Oh, 20. 20, okay. So, and then what would 59 round to? Uh... 16. Very good. Okay. So pretend in your mind, Eli, uh -huh. pretend in your mind it looks like this. Okay. Now let's use the trick I was talking about. How many times will 2 go into 6? Uh, 3. 3 times. Okay. Now doing this estimation gives us a better number. So we're going to use 3 up here because 1 kind of indicated this was 10. And this 5 kind of indicated it was 50 when we first started doing it. But this 1 has a really high number with it, so it's closer to, to 20 or 2. And this one's closer to 60 or 6. So that's why I said let's look at 2 and 6. Mm -hmm. Okay? You get what I'm saying? Yes. Kinda? Okay, so now let's try this. Let's do 19 times 3. 9 times 3 is 27. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 2 more is 5. 57. Now, did we get closer that time? Yes. Yeah. So we just rounded this and rounded this and thought, what numbers will go into that? And that kind of gives you a good number to start with, an even better chance of getting it right. Yes. Just to start off with. Mm -hmm. Okay? But if you don't know and you forget to do this, it's always good to start off with five because that's a middle number. And you can always go lower or higher to okay. multiply with. So if you don't know, you look at it and you go, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. Try to start with five and then see what happens. Okay, so let's finish out this problem, okay? So we chose three. So 19 times three we found was 57. Now remember, we're doing the divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. We've already divided and multiplied. Now we're gonna subtract. Nine, take away seven, we get two left and that's a zero. Okay, and bring down, there's nothing else to bring down. So it would be three, remainder two. Or we could go in and slide this up and put two over 19. Right? Okay, but let's say my number was not 19 into 59. We're going to take it just a little bit harder. 19 into 595. Okay? So I have a two-digit number and a three-digit number. Still okay. going to use your same trick because we know we're going to start off with this and this. Yes. Okay? So let's round it like we did a while ago to figure out our first number. And you should already know because we worked just 59. Mm -hmm. So what's our number we're going to use? Three. Three. Very good. So let's do that. What was 19 times three? Um, it was 57. 57. Yeah, good job. All right, so we're going to subtract, and then we're going to bring down. Now, we ask ourselves, how many times will 19 go into 25 without going over? I think only once. It would only be once. 19 times two. Nine times two is 18. 38, that would go over. Yeah. So we know that it's going to be 1. 
instead of two here, all right? So now we go one times 19 is 19, and I will end up getting six left over, okay? So it will be remainder six, or if you wanted to make it into a mixed number, you would just bring the six up and the 19 over. So we would end up getting 31 and 6 19ths. You got it? Mm -hmm. That is lesson 94.